We are the Johnson City Radio Controllers. We uh, located our airfield. It's located off of the I-26, going toward Johnson City. You take the Eastern Star exit, uh, turn right at the top of the ramp, uh, go out about a half a mile to Winchester Drive, uh, turn on the Winchester, go down to the bottom of the hill, and uh, that's Lancaster, and Lancaster will take you straight there. Everybody's welcome to come anytime there's a, a member there flying. The gate will be open, unlocked, and, uh, and uh, anybody's welcome to come and watch, ask questions. We do have a website, and our website is important in determining whether you want to come out and see us or not. Uh, www.flyjcrc.com. Uh, on the uh, first page it comes up, Go down to the lower left-hand corner. A small little picture of the field there. Click on that picture and bring you up a bigger picture, which is pretty much a live view. It updates every five minutes, and you can see if there's anybody there before you make the trip. But come out and find the gate lock and you can see whether there's somebody there. We're also on Facebook. Uh, it's uh, www dot facebook.com slash flyjcrc just like our website and you don't have to have a facebook account to see it and it stays updated with uh, pictures and things that are going on on the field if you have a, a, a facebook account uh, visit us and like us we, we like it when people like us we're at the indoor fun fly Kingsport uh, City Cotatorium. We're flying indoor planes today. Smaller airplanes, uh, smaller moving airplanes, and uh, safer airplanes to fly indoors. They're nice and a lot of fun. We have uh, a lot of young kids that usually can bring their helicopters that they got for Christmas and their little quadcopters that they got for Christmas. And, uh, get introduced to uh, flying RC. Uh, we, we try to work, uh, well our mission is to increase knowledge of RC flying uh, in the community and uh, we do lots of different things. We we'll teach people who fly. Uh, we use the club's trainers to do that and we uh, use our own radios doesn't cost anybody anything. You can come out, we'll teach you how to fly. Uh, if you join us, that would be great, but you don't have to. There's no commitments. Hi, I'm Michael Bernard, and this is Jackson Bernard. And uh, we come to an event like this last year, and it got us interested in these RC airplanes. And we've uh, accumulated a few since then, and. Uh, We've uh, really had a good learning experience with these guys. Uh, they'll uh, take you out to the field there and they'll uh, help you introduce you to uh, flying uh, using the buddy box system. And uh, they'll help train you and even uh, help get you to where you can join the club. And uh, it's a lot of fun to come out and uh, you know, just uh, try your luck of not crashing your plane at first anyway and then of course once you build your skills up it's just fun to get out there and fly with your buddies and, uh, I don't know what else you got to say about it there. You enjoy doing what you do? Yeah, I like to fly the awesome cool little planes that will hover and they're mostly called 3D flyers.
outdoors, you don't get that those static lines of static, they call it multi path run, where your signal just keeps getting bounced. So you get that little, little static line, but outside, it's perfect. Today we're having an indoor fly-in. We kind of get together with the, invite the public and invite any spectators to learn to at least view and get information about the club. But this hobby, you can get into it. You know, I can several, you know, the main question is um, how much to get, how much to get started. And it can be as inexpensive or expensive as you want it. Uh, generally, you can get into it for a couple hundred bucks, or some people spend multiple thousands of dollars depending on the uh, setup that they want. Um, but I would like to invite anybody to come out to the club, especially when the weather breaks this summer. Every Thursday night, we fire up the grill and we have uh, spectators come. We get them on our on our club trainer. It doesn't cost them anything to see if it's a if it's a hobby that they'd be interested in. And if they do, we can take them from their first flight all the way to solo without any commitment from them. But then, if they want to join the club, they can. If not, no you know, no harm or fly foul there either. But, um, but other than that, we have a good time and uh, invite anybody to come out.
keep out. No. You're going to. What do you mean I'm you going see to? See this fella right here? Well, I'll tell you, he, he'll never be able to record it. Yeah. His name's Robert Cohen. He's he going to do it. a little video for a club. Oh, okay. So you talk to him, tell him all about it. Don't say nothing about me, okay? Well, what could I say about you would be good? I don't uh, think I was, I was talking about <laughs> Have to be downgraded. Yeah, I know what you're saying now, but uh, yeah, you get on there and start talking about me. You're, I know what's going to happen. You're pretty good old. Well, you may have a but shot of our oldest member and youngest <laughs> member in the same frame there. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're talking about to the guys, 89 years old, and I've been through it, but I've been up and I've been down. I've seen the thing all the way around. Served on the Essex aircraft carrier during World War II. Left home and never saw home until it was over with. Okinawa, Iwo Jima, first and second battle of the Philippines, China Sea, took the first strike carrier strike on Tokyo, and all that mess. I've seen it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a great day.